Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? The senior Sith officers don't like us fraternizing with the locals. Besides, I don't need you lecturing me for my career choice. Come on, lady. Don't you know me? I'm the mysterious stranger now. Maybe, maybe now you want to tell me all your Sith secrets. I, I, I mean, more about yourself. But I swear, I, I wasn't trying to judge you. Uh, it's okay. I might have overreacted a bit. Oh. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. I mean, I'm not actually from Terrace. I'm, I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. <coughs> You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Eh, yeah, being stuck on Terrace ain't so bad, you know? I, I've been playing some Pazak, I've been kicking ass in the dueling ring, <coughs> mostly. Hasn't been all that bad, you know? You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? You got a pretty positive attitude, I guess. Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. Well, I guess you just need to blow off some steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship to the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. What? I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. What? No way! We're getting invited to a Sith party? Oh shit! Carp, you better get your dancing skills ready, dude. Cause I say we go. This could be the perfect opportunity to get some Sith information. It could also be a little risky, guys. But, uh, I think it'll be worth it. Sounds good. I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. You've been invited to a party by one of the Sith. According to the directions on your data pad, they're getting together at an apartment on the east side of the north upper city. Wait a minute. It looks like the search for Bastila's been updated too. You've been invited to a party being given by one of the off-duty Sith officers. Going there might be risky, but it could also get you one step closer to finding Bastila. Oh man, looks like we figured something out in this damn cantina after all, Karth, holy shit. We'll have to go check out that party as soon as we can. But for now, I say we head back to the hideout so I can rest up. Oh, my fucking ass hurts, Karth, come on. See ya, Niklos, you frickin' weirdo. Oh damn, I'll tell you guys, what happened last episode wasn't pretty. But what's going on, Box Bros? It's Ragebox here, Ugh. and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. Now, I'll show you why real quick, uh, why I got my ass kicked so hard, guys. You see, it wasn't, wasn't really my fault, guys, because you see, we are playing on the impossible difficulty. Yeah, it's part of the restored content mod, guys. Initially, it was going to be in the original game, but the developers felt it would be way too difficult for casual players, and so they removed it. But me, I don't consider myself a casual player, so in this playthrough, we're doing the impossible mode. Probably should have showed this in the first episode, <laughs> but yeah, we've been on impossible this whole time. Uh, but at any rate, hey look, it's one of them protocol droids again. L let's see if he's got anything new to say. Hey, buddy. Oh. Goodness gracious me, I'm a gay man's golden fantasy. What? Programmed for homo ecstasy, 10 million forms of gay position E. Whoa. For my golden shower, you must pay a fee. Whoa, 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 settle down there, Mr. Droid. No one's asking for any of that stuff. I mean, I don't know, maybe Karth back there is into it, but, but, but not me, okay? So just, let's just stick... To, to the normal questions here, robot. What the? Guys, I tell you, man, Terrace is just getting weirder and weirder. We gotta get a damn shuttle off this planet. Yeah, you know, who exactly do you work for? I am an employee of the Terrace government. Programs provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? No, a real likely story. Do you know anything about the gangs in the lower city? The Terrace Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Jeez. Well, that doesn't make me feel too good about going there. Violent and dangerous place. That sounds great. Well, while we're in the upper city, I guess we can avoid any violent and dangerous stuff, it seems. Um, what? Are you sure about that? Lavin Thug. 
wait a minute. Doesn't she look a little familiar, Karth? Miss, hey, hey, Mr. Robot, well, hold up. Whoa, they're attacking us. Oh God, the, the poor droid, dude. He's gonna get right in the middle of it. Oh, boy. Hit this guy with the power blast, Karth. And, uh, oh geez, this isn't good. <laughs> you asked for this. Oh, nice, better. Karth. Maybe you'll oh, think twice. Oh, oh, get him, Karth. Oh God! Oh, Karth, blast him! Oh, Daddy! Karth, get her! She's getting away, Karth! Yeah, the droid's blocking her. <laughs> get her, Karth! Come on, Karth! Oh sure. God! Karth, what the hell, man? You just gonna let her get away? Something seems to be bothering Karth. <laughs> Listen, Karth, something's bothering me, dude. Why'd you let that bitch get away? She might come back with more fucking thugs, dude. That was the one knocked me out. Don't you even care? Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you know what, Karth? Oh, my fucking ass. I gotta go rest. I'll talk to you later, Karth. We gotta get back to the apartment. You got it. Now, she went in here, too, but... Oh, man, I doubt we're gonna be able to find her. She could be on any one of the rings of the apartment. Shit. Hey, Lorm, do you see any any uh, bitchy human girl run by here? Oh, uh, well, I guess that answers that. Achuta. Whatever, Lorm, you're useless as usual. Hey, it looks like that one alien finally moved those bodies. Let me in. Time for me to get some freaking rest. I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, wait. Karth? What? Were you just watching me sleep? No. Well, maybe. What? Ahem. All right, people. We're gonna pretend like that shit just didn't happen, and I'm gonna get out my blaster rifle just in case it happens again. Now, Karth, if you're done being a weirdo, uh, y you want to have a little conversation there, booby? Hmm? Feeling okay? Yes, what's on your mind? So is this a good time to ask you some more questions there, buddy? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Mm hmm Is this really necessary? Well, I mean, not if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. <laughs> Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. <laughs> all my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. What? I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. What? Um, I, well, I wasn't really in a position to know what was going on, really. I mean, the whole thing was pretty crazy. Sith everywhere. I, I, I lost one of the greatest men I've ever known. It was terrible. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast, it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and, and for what? Yep. And the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Hmm. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? Huh? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? What? Well, I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Well, ho ho hold up there, Karth. It sounds like Karth's trying to accuse us of something. Are you implying that I had something to do with the crash there, Karthy? No. Well, maybe. What? Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. What? Karth! After all we've been through so far on this damn planet and that cantina and the dancing and you gonna you gonna treat me like this, you know see, Trask would have never accused me of all this, Karth. Trask would have never did it. It's the truth. But wait a minute. Yeah, wait, why would Basilo request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean hell they practically took over the ship as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Well, I'm telling you, Karth, I had nothing to do with the damn crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, 
It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Are you always this damn suspicious, Karth? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? You haven't heard the last from me on this, Karthi. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Huh. Although he agreed to work with you, you've learned that Karth is suspicious and mistrustful of others. There's probably a reason behind his mistrust, but he's reluctant to discuss it. Well, I, I am a little insulted, Karth, I gotta say. But apparently there's some reason for all his mistrust. We'll probably find out whatever the hell it is later. Alright, well, back out into the streets. I guess we should actually explore these streets a little bit more. But real quick, let's go back to uh, Kemli Yurt's shop and see what she's got for sale. What are that? What's this? Oh, this must be the remains of those thugs we just killed. Oh my god, I can't believe that rude-ass lady from the cantina hired thugs to try to kill us. Like, what the hell? We got a Bond and Alloy heavy suit. Very expensive. I think we're pretty good with the military suit and the light battle armor that uh, me and Karth got right now. Now hold up, a Sith sniper rifle. Oh my goodness, this is a very powerful weapon. Much better than the regular blaster rifle I have, but goddamn is it expensive. Hello! I like money! Well, it looks like Keblay doesn't really have anything for sale that I want right now. Oh, thanks anyway. Alright, so let's uh, do our best, Karth, to not be too suspicious here. But after running into those thugs, you know what, Karth? Equip your military suit. Yes? We gotta be ready for anything out on these streets, because I guess even the upper city isn't completely safe. I swear that, that girl better hope she don't run into me again. I'm gonna have a few choice words for her. Like you and or and my jerk! What's uh, what's this area over here? A medical facility. Oh, okay. Like a hospital or a doctor's office? Excuse me, sir. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Oh well, excuse me, buddy. All right. What, a medical protocol droid that beeps and boops? That's kind of weird. Are you, are you Zelka? How you doing? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Yeah. Still, you're welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Well, this guy seems pretty cool. Well, wait. Rat ghoul disease? What the hell is that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. What? Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, what? becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. What the hell? Ho, ho, hold on there, Mr. Zelka. You're telling me that there's some kind of zombie-like disease going on down in the Undercity? This place just keeps sounding worse and worse every time we talk to somebody about it. Holy crap. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. Of course. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Jeez, that's terrible. I mean, this sounds like a really serious illness. Well, Zalka, maybe I could somehow find a way to get my hands on it. If I do come across it, I'll definitely be sure to tell you about it. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. But can I ask you some questions there, Zalka? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? So, do you know anything about the Republic escape pods that crashed down in that other city? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. 
Um, okay, bud. That didn't sound suspicious at all, even in the slightest. <laughs> this guy isn't very good. You seem awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. What? This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. No one's accusing you. I'm just, what? Listen, you can trust me, buddy. I'm not with the Sith, all right? They suck. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Secret? Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. Oh my god. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Man. What 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 a what a gentleman, dude. What a what a heaven sent angel this guy is. Helping these poor Republic soldiers. I can't believe it. Wow. I'll keep your secret, Selka. Don't worry. Thank you for keeping my secret. I only wish there was more I could do, but medical science has only come so far. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Says so Zelka at the Upper City Medical Center is eager to acquire a sample of the Rackle Serum used by the Sith Undercity Patrols. Well, if somehow we ever find this Rackle Serum, we'll definitely give it to Zelka here. Especially after what he did for these poor Republic soldiers. Oh, man. I mean, technology in the Star Wars universe is pretty goddamn advanced. They, they must be very badly hurt if even medical science in Star Wars here can't help them. I mean, good lord. Hey, 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 hey Karth, does this, does this guy look a little, little familiar to you? Does, does he look, uh... Wait, wait a minute. Karth? Am I a clone? Yes. Karth! What do you, what, what you mean? What the hell, Karth? Why does this guy look like me? What is going on here? You know what? You know what? We're just gonna ignore this. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see this guy floating here in the culto tank. And 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 that, that we're never gonna speak of this again, alright, Karth? You got it. Alright, let's let's just get the hell out of here. Psst, you there. What? Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. What? I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. An offer? What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik? The frickin' crime lord? And why does Davik want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. And why do you care who gets the cure? Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Yeah, probably not. I think I'd rather give the serum to Zelka. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Zelka at the Upper City Medical Center is eager to acquire a sample of the Rakul serum used by the Sith Undercity Patrols. However, Gurney, Zelka's assistant, mentioned that it might be more profitable if you deliver the serum to Zax in the Bounty Office in the Lower City Cantina. Huh. The Lower City has a cantina too? And there's a Bounty Office? That sounds pretty cool. But yeah, no way I'm giving no serum to no crime lord, buddy. You're barking up the wrong goddamn tree. All right. So what's wait? What's going on over here? Gavik says you missed your last payment. Uh oh. Yeah. Gavik doesn't like missing payments. 
Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. David can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. David's going to want to make an example of you. You're coming with us. What? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we going to just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Davik doesn't like witnesses. <laughs> Davik doesn't like witnesses, huh? Oh man. Well, listen, I'm not trying to be some kind of white knight for this random old guy. But Kart's kind of right. We can't just let them drag him away. So leave this man be. Or you'll have to deal with Karth, right Karth? Guess we have to teach you to mind your own business. Oh boy. All right, Karth, this was your idea, dude. Uh, let's get the double power shot on this uh, alien dude. Light side points. All righty then. Sure. Oh my God, we almost hit the old man, Karth. We gotta be careful. All right, let's get this guy. Now. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Oh, shit. Well, uh... Hand over all your credits if you want to live. <laughs> Talk about chaotic neutral. Maybe I can help you. Man. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You know what, old man? I won some extra credits in the dueling ring, and you know, lately in the stores here, I really haven't seen anything that I want. So here you go, buddy. Take it. And don't go borrow no more money from any goddamn crime lords. Let this be a lesson. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Hundred credits lost, but we got some experience and even more light side points. Hmm. Now, watch this, guys. You'll loot this dude. Fitty credits. And then you'll loot this dude. Fitty credits. It's a free light side point game, boys, with free experience, pretty much. You know what? That felt really good, Karth. You know, helping that poor old guy. We should try to help as many people as we can on this terrible planet before we get the hell out of here. Or maybe we should just worry about ourselves. I don't know. Whatever's going to get us out of this place. But alrighty, boys, I think that's going to do it for now. I'm cutting it here. Thanks so much for joining me, Box Bros, on another episode of Let's Play Kotar. In the next one, we're going to head, I guess, into the northern part of the Terrace Streets and maybe see about that party that the Sith girl invited us to. Could be good. Or maybe we'll just explore the streets some more. We probably still have plenty of time before their shift's over or whatever. Again, guys, thanks so much for joining me. This has been Ragebox. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace out, guys.